Hi, my babies. How fucking are you? Bitch, get up right now. It's a fucking celebration. Bitch, it's our one year hormone update. <laughs> I waited one fucking year for this shit, bitch. I've been on hormones for a year. These bitches thirsty. I'm Hungarian. Me, Nikki, and the bars be eating diamond things. Barbarian. Rah. <laughs> Bitch, it is one year. Hormones. <sighs> is this a fucking dream? No, it's not. It's, it's reality. It's real. I'm so excited, bitch. Y'all gotta get into this body, honey. Miss Dior finna show y'all a hoes body. Okay, I hope I ain't show y'all too much. I've been so excited to do that all day. I'm like, I gotta show them my body because it's booming, bitch. And I ain't got nail surgery, ho. Um, you know, they see the titties and shit. I got a little padding, bro. <clears throat> I'm finna show y'all my titties, ho. Nah, I ain't finna do all that. <laughs> you ain't finna get all those treats, honey. You gotta subscribe to my OnlyFans or pay my donation. But, um... Ain't you guys so excited for Hazel? Bitch, it is my one year update. I mean, hormone update. So, uh, without further ado, bitch, let's go get right into it. I know y'all want to hear all the tea and the juice or whatever. Hormones been working very fucking well for me. I am so honored and blessed. I'm so honored that I took like I have the confidence had the confidence to start hormone therapy to start transitioning in general it it was a very complicated hard journey for me at first and I adapted so well um I love who I am as a trans woman I love it I wouldn't change a a thing I I love it I fucking love it and I'm only still in the beginning um, it's like a dream come true it's like so surreal every day I'm so thankful to be on hormones like it was my first fucking day I've been on a patch for one year I've never been on ejections or any of that um, and look how beautiful I am I mean the, the patch did its thing but honestly as far as the patch I'm going through my doctor right now I'm telling I'm a I'm telling her to switch me from the patch to the ejections because I I do hear about the injections or whatever. Um, I think it's about time for me to switch over. I served my purpose with the patch. Um, it did a good job for me. It does. Um, the patch only go up to, you know, a certain dosage or whatever. And I feel like I need more now. Like, I'm one year in my transition. Um, and... The patch keep falling off. You can be asleep and wake up and the patch is on the floor. So you're not even getting the medicine at night. I went out of town and bitch, when I got in the hotel room, I looked on my stomach. The patch wasn't even there. I'm like, and it leave root, uh, rashes and shit, like stain marks all on your stomach area. I, I got so much of that down here. It's so crazy. Like I got eczema. Ex eczema so it's time for the shots so we can see how the shots do for a bitch you bitches will be on a journey with me so you will see how it does you know work for me but um the, sh the hormones 
in the patch it, it works very well for me I there is no doubt about that but I think I serve my purpose with the patch I feel like it's time for me to to step it up a, a notch past the patch now I feel like starting off on a patch is a very good thing I really do I really do but and where I'm at right now my transition I want to go a step further so we got to dismiss the patch but anyway um mental changes and physical we're gonna start with physical changes um the fat redistribution did you just see i just you bitches i just showed y'all my motherfucking body did you see this ass these thighs this shape the hormones did that bitch it really did this motherfucking thing like skin smooth as fuck like look at all this bitch all oh, this is so smooth and luscious um my skin do get very very dry for some reason and i think the the um e injections is going to change this my face get oily and i hate that so fucking much i you don't even know you don't even know i hate it the oiliness i have to keep wiping my fucking face like every t 10 minutes i don't like doing that so it's time to step it up but um my skin get really fucking dry it'd be like ashy white and like like I don't know ashy real ashy like like really really dry and like flaky so I definitely have to lotion up like crazy every time I get out of the shower um physical changes oh I definitely have some breast growth my my breast has grown um it's in an A cup range so the breast growth definitely it, it was it's doing it bitch i got titties ho i got some titties bitch but i love it um hair hair growth the hair growth definitely slowed down that it did that but it haven't completely went away though i am going through laser hair removal to remove the hair on my face um the hair really barely ever grows I do shave, you know, every other day or so just to make sure it's all the way, you know. But um yeah, I'm I'm not a hairy person. Like the hair doesn't really grow. It grows in at a slow rate. My skin stays smooth, you know. Um Oh my god. The strength, my strength decreased like crazy. It'll be put to the test all the time, bitch. When the dates be coming through, them hoes be trying to get a little rough sometimes. They be trying to like you know, not wrestle with a bitch, but like you know, foreplay can get a little intense. And I you know, trying to battle these hoes back, and I'm just like, damn, bitch. When I be lifting stuff, I be so tired. Like, I can't even lift up that much stuff that I used to. I used to have down there like Superman strength that I I felt like I used to before the hormones. Now it's like girl strength. It's so crazy. It's like I love it though. I love it. It is a. It is a. Um, adjustment though because i'm so used to before i'm going to the grocery store i got 10 bags baby i'm carrying 10 bags full of shit pops and all up the stairs carrying tvs and shit and beds up the stairs bitch i who gonna do that now baby i need help i need a man <laughs> to do all that now i really can't i get so tired and out of breath really fucking fast I don't want to say my stamina decrease, but it's definitely 
the muscle mass decrease. So for you bitches out there, no, no transgenders isn't strong as men. Not bitches like me that's on their, their hormones, that's been on hormones and stuff. We don't have strength as men. The medicine decreases it based on your genetics anyway. It is different for every girl based on how much. But we do lose strength. So, mental. Oh my God, I've been so moody. The patch supposed to be like less um, minimal effects as far as the mood swings. But i always been somewhat of a moody person. But my attitude is just like a woman. It's so crazy. It's just like I do. I be so moody all the fucking time. Oh, let's get into the appetite, bitch. I be so hungry. I be eating. I love a lot of hot stuff. I never used to eat hot stuff. Like, I used to eat hot Cheetos. But, like, hot sauce and stuff on, like, fish and all that. I never used to do all that. And I eat a lot of salty foods. Like, I kid you the fuck not. Every other day I eat nachos. Um, one day I eat fish, some fried tilapia. Um, the next day I eat some nachos, and then I will probably switch it up. Then go to chicken, and then go back to the nachos. It's so addicting. Like I have a pattern. I don't even be trying. It just happens. Like I don't know what it is about the nachos. <laughs> a bitch love nachos and fish. But the appetite. Is through the fucking roof, bitch. Through the roof. I'm kidding you the fuck or not. Thirsty. A bitch be thirsty. <laughs> you bitches thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> bitches thirsty and hungry, ho. But, um, yes. And, um, oh, I be having to, um, pee a lot. Like the um, spiral lactone makes you go to the bathroom. I have to keep, you know, zooming to the bathroom. Um, oh, like my hair, under hair. A bitch is grow, is growing, and it's pretty long too. When I first started my hormones, I had like a little mohawk style. I didn't even have no hair. The sides was down there like bald. Now they're braided under the wig, bitch. It's literally all braided. So crazy, right? So it's been fucking growing. Like literally, I'm so excited. My hairline too is starting to re be like receiving as like a female pattern too. Oh, my face. You see my face, it got like, um, it filled in, in in the right places in like a feminine appearance. Right now, I do have on a little, um, just a little bit, a little highlight right here. You know, a little highlight, but um, I don't have on no like makeup, you know, on my skin or whatever. But, um, or I don't know contour, none of that. This is like me. But um Yeah, the my face filled in in all the right places, literally in a you know, like a feminine look. And the fat redistribution is a is amazing how it happens. I you don't see it coming because you 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 know, you living in your own body and yourself every day, you don't notice it. Until like a while later, you look in the mirror and be like, damn, bitch. <laughs> but I got so much like, what do I want to call it? Fat, literally fat redistribution. I got a lot of, look at this, but hold on. I got to, I do got to get in the gym, y'all. I got to um, shape up, but I want to show y'all this. You see that? 
all that jiggle baby that was not like that I was strong I was kind of strong bitch before these hormones break your motherfucking ass down and I love it and like I said and they keep saying these shots is so superior I'm like damn bitches some patches did that to me what would the injections do Stay fucking tuned, bitches, because I got a surprise for you, hoes. I'm so excited. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't want to miss anything. I don't, because I didn't write this down. I'm just thinking from literally off the top of my head. And I have to really think, too, because, like, I'm living in myself every day, so I don't, you know, be really thinking about all this stuff. I just see a bad bitch every time I look in the mirror and stuff, so. Um. Oh, my sex drive. Oh, my God. Whew. Bitch. I barely can get up at all, especially when the days come through. It is so hard. Like, as a gay male, this is not for sensitive air, so be cautious. Um, I would bust a nut, like, every day. Let alone like a couple times a day actually The last time I ejaculated Bitch when it's been Oh my god I don't know Wow I don't know Wow it's been like maybe like over a week or something. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a little while. Like my sex drive went down tremendously. I mean, I can get aroused and stuff for like someone I'm really attracted to. But you know that man, um, male, you know, horniness and sex drive and morning woods and get boners and all that that don't happen with me none of that i don't wake up thinking about you know that like it's not even like a factor until the dates and stuff come but i just get around and i'm good it's like a woman like right now i'm so tame it's so tame down there it's like and i'm totally fine with that i always wanted that to happen i used to hate waking up and Heart be hard as hell Like So the medicine bitch <laughs> Took care of that For real Um You know what's so crazy I be seeing like trans girls When they be coming online Oops I don't know this too much Um Yeah yeah It is um Appropriate On Twitter you know They raw and fucking uncut when the trans girls be ejaculating and stuff for their videos, it be like so much. But when I do, it don't be like barely any. It's like the hormones slowing all of that down. And I don't have a problem with it. I transition to be a woman, so that's fine with me. And not knocking anyone. You gotta get, you gotta, bitch, get your shit out. You gotta get your um, nut out. Whatever you gotta do, honey. Take care of yourself. A sex is nasty any motherfucking way, bitch. Don't let these hoes tell you anything different. But, um, yes, I barely can get up. I don't get, um, boners. Not saying that I can't get up because if I wanted to, I probably could. I just have to be really turned on enough. I have to think about it, it's a mental thing for me now like you have to get me aroused it's not like you touch me and boom like i'm a woman duh oh i heard about like your testicles shrinking that they usually shrink to like half their size and it has shrunk i was i was like wow i was looking at that recently i'm like wow and you know, um, like my feet or whatever, 
this would be a little not like rough but like a man like uh, a man please uh a male you know now it's like smoothing out like the appearance like it's smooth like a woman you know it's so interesting but i can't show you guys because i'm not that big into my feet like that but maybe one day oh my god crying i'll be so sensitive and i cry so much you know like i get i can cry very very easily and get emotional very very quickly and not that's that's not like you know me i mean before the moans i was a really strong bitch like you wouldn't see me cry i watch a movie sad movie anything and i just start like tears start coming down my eyes um i even got terry down on you know here a few times talking about um certain stuff or whatever so like really emotional emotional like emotions like all over the place but you know what it's worth it like I'm being who I always wanted to be and, it, and I'm not even up to par all the way like bitch I'm not even up to par like but I'm living in my truth something that I never and I said this like a couple of times but it's the fucking truth like I'm living in my truth something that I never thought I never thought it would come to reality because you guys don't know how sheltered I was with depression and anxiety it was through the roof like someone had panic attacks and stuff all the time I was like an introvert a loner like in I would have had never thought I would have been able to, to have the confidence to go through with it. I thought the anxiety would have shielded me from it. I thought I would have been like, you know, one of the people that get like way older and then talk about they wanted to like, you know, well, I don't know if it would have got that far, bitch, because I was busting the fuck out the scenes. A bitch would even be here. So I'm not even going to say that. But, you know, I was really thinking like, it's gonna kind of be impossible. I thought. Actually, I didn't even think I would even be here today because, like I said, anxiety was so powerful, controlling my mind, and I thought it would win, because I'm like, there's no way I can bypass this like firewall, of, you know, well, craziness. So, I really thought I wouldn't even be here. So by the grace of God I am here and I'm able to educate you people and um, share my experience with you guys and share love and all of that so thank you so much thank you for the little few subscribers or whatever I do have thank you for fucking with a bitch like me Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I do have some more videos coming for you guys. Um, some of you requested some videos, and that is coming, bitch. Just know that. But I love you so fucking much. Hazel D. Or is finna get ready to um, go to bed. It's like 7 in the morning, bitch. Always doing videos in the morning. I fucking love you. Keep your head up. And go crazy and shit on these bitches. Because they are so angry. I love you. All of my babies. I fucking love you.